Hello and welcome to TVC News at 6. And we begin in Niger State where the acting governor, Yakubu Garaba, has called for the reinstatement of military forces in Alawa community following a deadly attack that killed at least 13 persons on Wednesday. Speaking during the three-day prayer for the victims, the acting governor clarified that contrary to misinformation, the deceased were killed while heading to their farms, not in an IDP camp. He reassured residents that the government remains committed to supporting security forces in the area until banditry is eradicated and the community can safely return to farming. We draw our soldiers from Alawa. We are not happy as a government. But then, military cannot withdraw ordinarily without a reason. It's a strategic withdrawal and it's a temporary withdrawal. As such, we cannot caution them. Rather, we can appeal to them to see reason to go back quickly so that our people can utilize this rainy season so that at the end of the season, they can have a cause to feed themselves. We cannot rally on government to feed us. These five months now, we are no more in our village. They displace us. The military withdraw. And, you know, Alawa is the, uh, the boundary. In fact, we are facing the, the Boko Haram forest directly. The security know all this ever since the military were with us. Ever since that the military are with us, living with us, we have no that chaos. We did not go to anywhere. We are with them truly, 100%. But after they are withdrawn, we have to leave that place. While well, staying with security, the police have confirmed the rescue of 20 medical students who were kidnapped in Benue State by security sources. In a statement by the police spokesperson, Ulumuiwa Adejobi, the police, uh, DSS and military personnel were involved in the operation coordinated by the Office of the National Security Advisor and supported by the Benue State Government. The force PRO explained that contrary to some tweets and unconfirmed stories that some money was paid, no ransom was paid to release the students. He also commended security agencies and locals 